right? What is going on everybody? It's John here and I am back with another Modern Warfare commentary and today I am going to be giving you guys my 10th monthly review of Modern Warfare. That's right guys, we are officially 10 months into Modern Warfare's life cycle and like I always say in every monthly review, time is just flying by. In fact, time has flown by so fast that as of recording this video, I am exactly one day away from returning back to school. Therefore, my Warzone Victory gameplay that I uploaded today, which by the way, as of recording this video, it's currently Sunday, maybe my final daily upload for the streak that I have going on right now. But don't worry guys, like I said in my previous commentary, my back to school next week commentary that I uploaded last week, that does not mean that I'm gonna stop uploading completely. No, I'm still gonna be uploading, but I'm not gonna be doing daily uploads like I was doing this summer for now. Instead, I may have to revert back to my old uploading schedule where I would only upload two to three times per week and live stream once every every Friday, but honestly guys, I might be doing a little bit more than that because the way my new schedule is this year for school. It turns out we only have three classes per day and we get out at 12.07, so that gives me plenty of time to make a video, edit, make a thumbnail, and all that kind of stuff, but it really depends on how much work they give me on that day. If I get bombarded with a bunch of homework assignments and other stuff like that, then there is a great chance I don't make a video that day, but if I do have no homework at all, then I will most likely be making a video and I will be uploading more than I did back in my previous uploading schedule. That's the goal, guys, but don't worry. I'm gonna be trying my hardest, so yeah. But anyways, getting back on topic, I apologize for slightly getting off topic right there, but for this monthly review, as always, we are mainly gonna be reviewing multiplayer and Warzone. Why don't I review campaign and spec ups? Well, campaign, it's a one-time thing. I reviewed it back in my uh, first monthly review. I gave it a 10 out of 10, and to this day, it is still a 10 out of 10. It's an amazing campaign. If you haven't played it, go ahead and give it a try. Spec Ops, I only played it once and I played Survival. So based off of my experience on Survival, I gave it a 7 out of 10. And to this day, it is still a 7 out of 10 because I have not played Spec Ops at all. And honestly, I have no plans to play it anytime soon because I've been so into Warzone and multiplayer that I just don't see myself going on Spec Ops at all. So yeah, we're just gonna stick to 7 out of 10 for Spec Ops. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna be trying my hardest to keep this video short and I know I always say that and then it passes a 10 minute mark but this time I'm being serious so yeah with that being said let's just go ahead and get started with multiplayer oh right guys where do we begin with multiplayer well to start off multiplayer was actually pretty good and interesting this month because to start off season 5 launch so that means we got a new battle pass with new tiers and rewards we got new maps, we got new operators, we got new playlists, we got new weapons, etc. Basically, we were bombarded with a bunch of new content this month, and that made multiplayer a lot more enjoyable because that means we could level up our new weapons, like the AN-94 and the ISO, on the new maps, which are Petro Royal Rig and Sudal Harbor. We got some new playlists that we've never seen before, we got a new gunfight map as well, I forgot to mention that, and we were able to play face-off on that new map, so that was also a ton of fun. The battle pass was also great, I'm currently at tier 60 something or maybe even 70 something so I'm almost there to tier 100 but I'm now gonna have to wait a little bit longer since <laughs> I'm starting school again and much more guys season 5 brought us a good amount of new content and that's the main reason why this month was pretty good and interesting for multiplayer I will say that one of my favorite things about the new content drop was without a doubt the new maps I honestly enjoy the new maps which I know you guys might be thinking I'm crazy right now because a lot of people don't like Soda Harbor and Petro Royal Break. They think the maps are actually pretty bad, but I'm here to say that I actually find those maps pretty enjoyable. If I had to rank these two new maps, number one would be Petro Royal Rig and number two, Sodal Harbor. And the reason for that is Sodal Harbor has some pretty weird spawns. I mean, <laughs> and its layout is pretty unique too. I've never seen such a weird layout like Sodal Harbor's. And it's fun because you're able to spawn trap people on there like nothing. I've been able to get so many good clips on this new map that it's just ridiculous. Now, if we want to talk about multiplayer gameplay wise this month, I would have to say that's again pretty much the same thing it was back on day one. Ghost is still pretty overpowered, even if you're camping or sending still, a UAV won't be able to detect you with Ghost on. Uh, the footsteps are still pretty loud, and I feel like they're probably louder than ever now. Uh, the OG minimap hasn't returned. 
uh, we still don't have Dead Silence as a perk, etc. But like I said in one of my previous monthly reviews, I am no longer complaining about the new changes because I pretty much adapted to these new changes that there's no reason for me to continue crying and begging for new changes to come, or old changes I should say, like the OG minimap, uh, Dead Silence becoming a perk again, Ghost uh, maybe becoming less overpowered, all that kind of stuff since this is pretty much what Infinity Ward wanted for their game this year. That overhaul that we were all hoping for is probably not going to come anytime soon or ever at this point because we're already 10 months into the game's life cycle. I don't think an overhaul is going to be coming. I mean, <laughs> COD 2020 or Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is going to be releasing soon, so yeah, it's too late now. So, my overall rating for multiplayer this month would have to be a 7 out of 10, and that's slightly better than what I gave multiplayer in the previous monthly review because, like I said, it was a pretty good and interesting month. Alright, guys moving on to warzone now warzone was pretty good this month as well we got some new changes finally we got the train station finally opening up and then stadium was blown up not the whole entire stadium obviously but the top of stadium so we were finally able to enter stadium and see what is in this huge location we also got some new additions such as a train that's roaming around warzone on the train tracks obviously we got some new zip lines that you could now grapple onto to get on top of buildings like it's just many new things came and it's just amazing oh yeah and i forgot to mention we also got some new easter eggs that have been appearing on warzone where you could open up a bunch of new locations and they're basically teasers for the next <laughs> call of duty for cost 2020 so yeah guys we also got i guess a huge event coming in the future maybe next week since the call of duty black ops cold war reveal is going to be next wednesday and I'm hearing rumors that the Nuke event is going to be going off at that time as well. And you guys already know how much I've been talking about this Nuke ever since it was showcased to us back in Season 3. I've been talking about it non-stop and I've had so many questions. When is this Nuke going to go off? What's going to happen to the World of Redance? Why is there a Nuke? Is it a teaser? All those questions. And this coming Wednesday, they may finally be answered. Gameplay-wise, Warzone is still amazing. Every time I get on late at night with my cousin and homies to play some Warzone, that's pretty much all I do. We have a ton of fun and unfortunately, I'm no longer going to be able to do that because I'm returning back to school, but still, that's all I would play, Warzone. I don't even play MP anymore late at night. So, my overall rating for Warzone this month would have to be an obvious 10 out of 10. It's always been a 10 out of 10, and it's most likely always going to be a 10 out of 10, especially this coming week. If we do get that Nuka Ben, we may even have to bring it up to an 11 out of 10. And <laughs> no, I'm just playing, guys, but still, 10 out of 10 for Warzone, I'm loving it so much. But anyways, that is pretty much going to be my 10th monthly review for Modern Warfare, so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time when i upload let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about modern warfare in its 10th month are you guys still enjoying it are you guys finding it boring are you guys done with it is it too repetitive anything let me know and before i forget my overall rating for modern warfare this month would have to be an 8 out of 10 like i said both modes multiplayer and warzone were pretty fun and interesting this month and again i am just super excited for next week and i hope we get that nuke event and then i'll finally stop talking about it but anyways guys for the last time i'm gonna go ahead and get back on the grind so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already make sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful day i will hopefully upload this video as early as i can and without that being said it's been john and i'm out peace